Hey guys, welcome to Triple B Garage. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so today I wanna to show you something that I just purchased. Um, I did something that I probably shouldn't have done, but uh, I bought a Suburban, sight unseen, and my dad just went and picked it up yesterday, and he just showed up at my place here, and we're gonna unload it. So in this video, we're going to take a good look at it and just see what I got. Let's, uh, Get this thing unloaded and have a look at it. There it is. Just want to do a little uh, ad here for my dad. He's just getting into hot shot trucking. Uh, so he just picked this truck up and uh, he's going to be yeah, just doing custom hauling. So if you need something hauled in Canada, pretty much, uh, just give him a call. I'll put his phone number here and if it fits on a flatbed trailer, he can haul it. Triple B Transport. He had the name before I did, so. Let's check this thing out and just do a little do a little walk around. I was actually just reading today that they made a 1508 bolt Suburban, which I guess this must be must be what this is. Yeah, he took his batteries out, so we're going to throw some batteries in here and back it off and have a better look at it. Oh, nice. Yeah, that looks that looks lovely. Oh, that is a 65 diesel. Here's the catch with this thing. The guy that I bought it from, he's pretty sure this engine is no good. He says it runs rough and it smokes. Yeah, this isn't uh, connecting here very good, Dad. isn't even too bad actually but yeah it's definitely running rough Suburban. Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah. Okay, so we got the Suburban unloaded. Um, I hired my dad for hauling it and obviously not for videoing because he missed the shot of uh, me backing it off the trailer, but it backed off nice and drove to this spot nicely. That's about all I've done so far. And then I had to run back to work. Um, yeah, we're just going to do a walk around, check this thing out. Um, before we do that, just take a second and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I think this is just the first video of probably a number of videos on this Suburban. Uh, we have some big plans for it, so 
check those out. It should, it should clean up pretty nice. What do you see, Sawyer? How's it look? It looks good? It has sun visors and a poppy. Nice. That too. It has that too? Yeah. What's that? A mirror? Oh, nice. No light. No lights? No. Hmm. Hmm. What do we got up here? Sunglasses holder. There, Daddy. That's up there? Yeah. Not sure what that is. That not is. Those lights work. Yeah. There. Yeah, so this thing has the leather interior. Um, this seat is not fantastic. I think the passenger seat is, it looks pretty good. The rest of the interior I think will clean up quite nicely, actually. Um, the steering wheel isn't all rubbing off like some old steering wheels do. How's the seat fold down? Some spare change, that's always a win. <laughs> yeah, so the back door is missing the latch but I think it came with so he had this panel off to replace it but um, didn't get around to it so I think everything's there pretty dusty back here but that should clean up nice too spare tires here so that's a good sign I guess these don't fold right down or do they if you take the backrest off Oh yeah. Space actually, I think that's more than our truck bed was. Yeah, from the back of the tailgate to there, you could easily haul that, some pretty good that, that boards. Oh, we got a snow brush. Yeah, nice. What, what is it? Yeah. I this the tailgate was definitely a selling feature for me. I, I'm not a big fan of the barn doors on Suburban um, for this reason because if you want to haul some boards back from the lumber yard or whatever, you can leave this open and and drive around like that whereas with the barn doors they're kind of not as nice for that also you can sit on it use it like a truck um, so I'm definitely a big fan of the tailgate as opposed to the barn doors over there yeah. mm -hmm. that actually closes pretty nice too Is this where you're gonna sit? Yeah. Yeah. That driver. That driver, Daddy. That, that. I'm the driver. Yeah. That. This is a classic Chevy thing that always Ooh. bothers me. Yeah. Yeah. Not a fan of that. Yeah. yeah, this seat is in pretty good shape. It's not cracked at all. Hear that, Daddy? Oh, that's the lumbar support. That's gonna be nice. 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 Hmm. Look, money. Yeah. That money. You used to get in your pocket? Hmm. Where pocket go? Where pocket go? Yeah, your pocket too. Pocket. Pocket. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
-hmm. Still got the manual and everything with it. So that's good. Pop kit. Money pop kit. 1996. Oh yeah, it's got these classic cup holders too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The flip out. Oh yeah. Actually, works pretty good too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hear that, Daddy? I hear that. Hear that, Daddy? Not seeing any glow plugs coming on. Well, it says wait to start, so I wonder if maybe that's the glow plug indicator. But I am seeing half a tank of fuel, and that's a win. Check. See if the fan and everything works. That works. Yeah, so this thing has the push button 4x4. Four four. So that's all right, I guess. And that's also switched out. I guess it has the rear controls up here. That way, Dad gets to control the temperature for you back there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So I should give you some background on how we decided on a Suburban. Um, at first, I was talking about buying a square body Suburban and doing a diesel swap on it and so I showed Alicia some pictures of that and she's like yeah I would drive that so I have to give her some credit because not just anyone's okay with driving a diesel square body Suburban as a daily driver to run the kids around um, but I was just realizing that I didn't have the time to do a project like that um, I'm still working on finishing my garage um, if you haven't checked out my garage build playlist on YouTube uh, check that out uh, I'm still working on that so we decided to buy something that was less work this is still gonna be a project but um, this one's already got a diesel in it it's a suburban um, it's gonna fit the kids and lots of stuff in it uh, we go up to camp every summer and we need to move a lot of our stuff up there and so the Jetta just doesn't quite cut it for everything that we need to do so this is a great vehicle for that I'm just a big fan of the diesels my jet is a diesel I was pretty excited to get a diesel and so we're definitely not going to change that part so it is missing the back seat but we have five seats so far so we have two kids right now, and we could have a third, I guess, unless we get another seat. Then we can just fill it right up. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. That works. I think that's for holding cassette tapes. Yeah. Do you know what cassette tapes are? Yeah. They go in here. So the main reason that I wanted this one is that the body is virtually rust-free. We'll just take a walk around here and just have a look at it. But Just a rust-free body alone is, is worth that. So, like, I haven't looked behind here, so I don't actually know what, what it looks like behind the fender uh, flares, but if you look under here, it's actually in, like, it's solid. There's no, there's no holes. I am just noticing here that the, it kind of looks like the battery might have poked through the fender there. So that might need to be fixed. washing washing regularly or just staying off of salty highways is is going to help with that and just looking at this um, this vehicle has been on gravel quite a bit it unfortunately didn't have mud flaps so that hasn't uh, so that areas like this weren't protected but it's got the running board so 
Um, that's protected the rockers quite a bit. And this is another area where generally you can just poke your fingers right through there. And this one's still got paint on it. So that's amazing. It's pretty rare to see that on a 96. Just no rust whatsoever on that rocker there. One thing the seller didn't tell me about was the oil dripping out from, it looks like between the engine and transmission. And that's looking like a rear main seal to me, which means pulling the engine regardless of if I need to swap it or not. Yeah, it just looks super solid under there. I love the tint on these things. It's nice that the windows are tinted because I think that just looks great having black tinted windows. Yeah, this one's solid too. There's no no indication of holes or anything like that. So that's really good. Yeah, it's missing the chrome piece here, but um, the paint is is very sandblasted and rock chipped right here. There's still no holes. But it didn't have mud flaps, so the rocks really, uh, really beat that up. I think this roof rack is going to come in pretty handy. Can haul quite a bit of stuff up there too, so that'll be nice. Um, looks like this windshield should pass safety. Definitely not that windshield wiper, but. Um, yeah, overall the body is pretty good. Lots of clear coat missing, but that's just the way it is. Not sure what I think about this uh, rack on the front here. It's kind of it's kind of cool looking. Might might leave it on. Might take it off. Not too sure. I've I've personally always been a fan of the Chevy front ends. I like them a little bit better than the GM ones, but that's just personal preference. Um, let's take a look at the engine here again. I um, had a little bit of a look at it when we started it up to drive it off the trailer. Um, yeah, so this is a 6.5 diesel. Um, a lot of people don't actually know that this is a Detroit engine, um, but that's what it is. I am just starting to do some research on these. I really haven't worked on them a whole lot. Um, I'm excited to get into the community of 6.5 enthusiasts. Uh, there's a lot of people that are pretty passionate about these engines. They do get a bad rap. They have a few things that tend to go wrong with them. Um, this is one of the updates that people do on these things. It's a PDM uh, relocate. Uh, I haven't seen very many of them with a fan on there, but this one's got a fan on it. So that's been done. Uh, it looks like the vacuum pump is still on here. I think the vacuum pumps tend to fail on these too. Um, that's, those are some of the common failures, I guess. Check out this uh, mouse nest on this side here. Got quite the, quite the little home going on there. That's kind of nasty. Yeah, so you heard the engine running when I fired it up for the first time there on the trailer. Uh, it sounds like on that side there's a, kind of a tick or a knock or something. Um, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Right now I'm thinking I might pull the motor and try and find a used one. Uh, maybe it can be fixed. I'm going to probably do some diagnosing on this one before I get really get into it. Um, but yeah, if you're a 6.5 enthusiast, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, tell me where I should start. What would you do if you were in this situation trying to decide uh, what route to go? Uh, yeah, let me know what, what you think. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, yeah, subscribe and there will be more videos to come.